started listening to a series called Scotland Yard. I decided to research a few of those cases on my own. A few weeks ago, someone posted or commented on one of my videos about a woman named Elvira Barney. I had never heard the name, so I decided to look her up. And her story is pretty incredible. Elvira Barney. Kim, Elvira Barney better, we need to go back to 1932 London. England was in a deep financial crisis. There were millions unemployed. Seaports were paralyzed. Industry and coal mines were at a standstill. All of this while the ruling class are living their lives selfishly oblivious to the rest of the country. Until one day in May, a young socialite tells her fiance. But this girl wasn't just any young socialite. She is Lady Elvira Ashley Mullins, daughter to Lord John Ashley Mullins, who is the financial consultant to His Majesty George V, and at the same time, the powerful president of the Exchange Agent Corporation, leader of the British World Exchange Markets, Lord Mullins rules the roost at the stock exchange and his country is in a world of financial crisis and for Lord Mullins things are only going to get worse because headlines from around the world are about to implicate his daughter in the shooting death of her fiance. The earliest edition I can find is the evening standard late night final edition from London, Tuesday, May 31st, 1932. West End, shots, drama, young man found dead in a flat. Tragedy, Nightbridge cocktail party, home of Knight's daughter. Yard, Chief and Sir Bernard Spilsbury called in. A cocktail party in Knightsbridge flat, a supper party in one of the most fashionable of the West End restaurants. Then, tragedy. This is a sequence of events in a shooting mystery today, which Scotland Yard is investigating. The victim of the tragedy is Mr. Michael Scott Stephen, prominent in younger society circles in the West End and the son of Mr. T. M. Stephen, TP, who is well known in Kent and lives in a Doubleton house in Penhurst. The tragedy occurred at a flat in William Mews Lelm Square, SW, occupied by Mrs. Elvira Dolores Barney, daughter of Sir John Ashley Mullins, who was married in 1928 to Mr. John Sterling Barney, a young American singer. It is stated that five shots were heard and that the revolver was found. A young woman later went to Gerald Road Police Station to give such information. It is stated that five shots were heard and that a revolver was found. A young woman later went to Gerald Round Police Station to give such information as she possessed. She was accompanied, it is stated, by a woman friend and left sometime later. One of the quote, big five, when the tragedy was discovered, detectives were called and the police at once placed a barrier around the premises, allowing no one near. Later, Superintendent Hambrook, one of the big five of Scotland Yard, arrived at the Muse with other officers and took charge of the investigation. It is understood that Superintendent Hambrook and his officers who examined the interior of the flat are considering two theories in connection with the death of Mr. Stephen. The first is that he turned the revolver on himself and the second is that an accident occurred. This is the end of the evening standard. Paper number two, the Manchester Guardian, June 1st, 1932. West End shooting tragedy, man found dead in flat. A shooting tragedy in the West End of London was being investigated by the police yesterday, mostly after 4 a.m. Yesterday, Michael Scott Stephen, son of Mr. T. M. Stephen, London manager of the North of Scotland Bank, Lotbury, London, E.C. was found dead in a flat at Williams Mews, Lowndes Square, Knightsbridge. 
which is occupied by Mrs. Elvira Dolores Varney, daughter of Sir John Ashley Mullins and Lady Mullins of Belgrave Square. Fashionably dressed guests were seen to enter the flat on Monday evening, and it is understood a cocktail party was held. A woman who lives immediately opposite told the reporter that about 30 young men and women drove up in youth. They seemed full of good humor, and we heard laughter at the house, she said. After they left, all was quiet, and I heard nothing more until about four o'clock this morning, when my little daughter awoke me by saying she had heard revolver shots. Another neighbor said that the sound of shots was followed by that of the smashing of glass and a woman's voice shouting, come quick. Police and doctors called to the flat, found Mr. Stephen lying shot on the settee. Sir John and Lady Mullins motored to their daughter's flat when they heard of the occurrence and later accompanied Mrs. Barney to Gerald Road Police Station. Here, Mrs. Barney made a statement to the police and soon afterwards, she left in the car for her father's house. Inquiries were taken up by detectives working under Superintendent Hambrook of Scotland Yard. Sir Bernard Spilsbury, the pathologist, visited the mortuary to which the body was removed and remained there more than two hours. Sir John Ashley Mullins, Mrs. Barney's father, is a retired government broker. He was knighted in 1922. Mrs. Barney married Mr. John Sterling Barney, a well-known singer who came from New York in 1928. Mrs. Barney, who is about 27, has also made stage appearances. She played at the Gaiety Theater in The Blue Kitten under the stage name Dolores Ashley. The dead man's family lives at Double Two House near Penhurst, Kent, of which county Mr. Stephen Sr. is a justice of the peace. A friend of Mrs. Barney and her family told the reporter last night that Mrs. Barney has been so broken up by the tragedy that she has had to have medical attention. Newspaper 3 is from the Daily Herald, London, England, Wednesday, June 1st, 1932, part 1. Shot dead in woman's West End luxury flat. Cry in the night to banker's son. Five shots. Silence. Then the groans of a man and the agonized cry of a woman. Come back! Come back! Startled the residents of Williams Mews Nightbridge, SW, early yesterday morning. The sounds came from a flat in the Mews where a cocktail party had been held the night before by Mrs. Elvira Dolores Barney, who is well known in a fashionable West End set and is the daughter of Sir John Mullins, who lives in Belgrave Square nearby. Police were called and found the body of a young man who had been shot through the chest. Lying on the stairs of the flat, he was fully dressed. He was Mr. Michael Scott Stephen, son of Mr. T. M. Stephen. JP, London manager of the North of Scotland Bank, Lothbury, BC, who lives at Double Tooth House, Penhurst, Kent. A revolver lying on the floor was taken to Scotland Yard for expert examination. Last night, the police carried out reconstruction of the shooting. Singer's husband. Mrs. Barney married Mr. John Sterling Bar Barney, a singer, on August 2nd, 1928. Mr. Barney, who is 31, was trained as a concert artist in Russia and came to England in 1928 from New York. Mrs. Barney is about four years younger and was trained as an actress at Lady Benson's School of Acting. Her stage name is Dolores Ashley, and she played in the Gaiety Theater in The Blue Kitten. The neighbor who lives opposite the flat told the Daily Herald I was awakened at about half past four in the morning by my small child crying and the dog barking. While I was listening, I heard a shot followed at slow intervals by four others. Then I heard a man groan and a woman's voice call out, come back, come back. Last night, there was a party in the flat from seven o'clock till about 10. After most of the guests have gone, I saw Mrs. Barney and Mr. Stevens leave together in the big high-powered car which Mrs. Barney owns. They returned early in the morning. Sir John and Lady Mullins called at the flat shortly after 10 o'clock yesterday morning and later went with their daughter to their house in Belgrave Square. 
the Daily Herald, London, England, Wednesday, June 1st, 1932, Part 2. Shot dead in flat, news of tragedy kept from Princess, continued from page 1. The flat which has been occupied by Mrs. Barney for about a year is luxuriously furnished in an ultra-modern style and has a completely equipped cocktail bar on the ground floor. It has bright green front door, which opens onto the mews, green windows, and a green flight of stairs leading to the rooms which form the living accommodation. Sir Bernard Spilsbury, the pathologist, visited the flat before Mr. Stevens' body was removed and later made a post-mortem examination. Superintendent Hambrook of Scotland Yard was also present. A remarkable incident when Mr. Stevens slept in the grocer's van in the mews was described by a groom who saw him. He came late one night at about fortnight ago, the groom said. An empty grocer van was standing by out of service for the night, and the man calmly stepped inside, made himself comfortable on the floor, and went to sleep. He slept soundly for many hours, and in the morning woke up and went to breakfast. Last June, Mrs. Barney was involved in a motor smash in Piccadilly Circus. The car she was driving skidded violently, and she and Mr. Napper Dean Paul, who was with her, were both insensible when they were taken from the wreckage. With senior partner in the firm of Mullins Marshall Steer, Lawford, and company stockbrokers who held the appointment of brokers to the National Department of Commissioners. He retired some time ago. He has a country seat, Westfield Place, Battle, Sussex. Mrs. Barney's younger sister, Mrs. Avril Mullins, married when only 16 to Prince George Emeritinsky, a former Grenadier Guards officer. The wedding took place at St. Margaret's Westminster and was one of the biggest social events in 1925. A day or two ago, the princess went into a London nursing home for an eye operation. She is progressing satisfactorily, but the news of the tragedy is being kept from her. The inquest on Mr. Stevens will probably be held on Friday. Working as a dress designer from our special correspondent, Penters Kent, Tuesday. It is terrible. Mr. T.M. Stephen, father of the dead man, told me tonight, I suppose these things are inevitable. I hope everything will be cleared up at the inquest. Mr. Stevens had just returned from London to Doubleton House, his country home near Penhurst, with his wife and younger son. Mrs. Stevens dashed to London immediately. She had heard of her son's death. She was sobbing bitterly as she hurried into her home. Mrs. Michael Scott Stephen, who was 26, was educated at Shrewsbury, and for the past few years, she had been a dress designer in London and Paris. A member of Sir John Mullins' household said late last night that Mrs. Barney's parents did not wish her to be disturbed. Mrs. Barney is here, it was added, and retired early. So what, we know, what we're finding out now is that there will be an inquest coming up soon within the next within the coming weeks and we should find out more about what happened during that party who was there who wasn't there what exactly happened how how did this happen so that is next and i'm excited to see who will be at the inquest we'll find the news on june 2nd i think i'm not exactly the next newspaper I believe we'll be reading is from June 2nd and more information about the upcoming inquest and we'll see what is about to happen to Mrs. Elvira Barney, Scotland Yard. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this and yeah, we'll see you all again real soon with the inquest. Mm-hmm.